Hi everybody. Today's episode is titled The Opinion of Others. In James chapter 1 verse 5 it says if any of you lacks wisdom you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. No opinion of you matters more than God. If you are asking for advice from other people, I believe that it is okay to do that if God leads you to do that. I do believe that it is more important that even on top of asking for advice from uh, people uh, that we trust, we should more importantly pray about it and ask God and then we should do what we feel in our hearts to do. When I say that, I feel that we should do what we believe is going to bring us the most peace about the outcome of the situation. If you are someone who actually was giving advice to someone and your advice was not followed, it does not mean that you should feel rejected. In my eyes, we should all be grateful that someone even asked us for our opinion. At the end of the day, it is their life and it's their decision. Sometimes in life, God may lead us to look silly or look stupid. Like when Noah was told to build the ark and they had never even seen rain before, but here he is building this big old boat. Or, like when Joshua and the Israelites were told to march around this uh, city, the walls of this city, seven times, or seven different days, seven times the last day, and then give a big shout. I'm sure that they looked really silly and really stupid. But, at the end of their situation, Noah survived the flood, and the Israelites and Joshua conquered the city. There are other times in life when God doesn't lead us to look silly or stupid. We just look silly or stupid. Like the time when I actually moved to Arkansas and was married for 12 days. Based on God's grace and mercy towards me, I too was able to survive that. If you don't understand or are familiar with what I am referring to, you can uh, go back to the very first episode of Take a Sip and you'll understand what I'm referring to. In the end, the more time that we spend with God studying His Word, the more we are able to know Him and can choose to follow Him with a better outcome. And this is one of the reasons that I truly believe that I am living my best life now. Not so much because I have everything that I want in life, but I have peace about most of the decisions that I make because I'm not making those decisions on my own. I am allowing God to lead me in the choices that I make, even if I don't understand, even if I don't agree with it, even if it makes me uncomfortable. Uh, my life now is uh, led very differently than the way I used to lead it because I used to just follow my own advice um, and not seek God on hardly anything. But I learned the hard way that uh, that's not the way I should live. So I do have all of my needs met and the needs, the desires that I may want um, I have peace on the road that God has me on right now. So that's uh, most important to me is that I believe that I am living my best life now because of the path that I am choosing to follow, allowing God to take the lead. My encouraging scripture is going to come from Jeremiah 29 verses 11 to 13. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. 
You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart.